I want to show you <laughs> a solution which takes only two minutes. It is an approximate solution. It's about 3% accurate, but it's very cute. So here is the sun, and here is the moon. The two lines that determine the totality is the one from the top of the sun to the top of the moon, and the one from the bottom of the sun to the bottom of the moon. That's totality. And the p numbra is determined by the two red lines. Okay, nothing new. Now, look at this point of the sun. This angle here is 0 0.0013 degrees. You can calculate that easily because you know the diameter of the moon and you know this distance, roughly 152 million kilometers. So you get an angle of 0 0.0013 degrees. That means these two lines are practically parallel. <laughs> you can't even draw that angle. If these two lines are practically parallel, this here must be the diameter of the moon. And the same, of course, holds for this angle. It's also 0 0.0013 degrees. So this must also be very close to the diameter of the moon because these two lines are also effectively parallel. So clearly, this part, the penumbra as projected onto the Earth, must be roughly twice the lunar diameter. And twice the lunar diameter is about 6,948 kilometers. That's only 3% higher than the correct value. I thought you would enjoy that. Tomorrow I will post a video, a three-minute video, in which I also take the radius of the, the Earth into account. Because we've always assumed the distance from the center of the Moon to the distance to the center of the Earth. But of course, the Earth itself is a sphere, so that's not super accurate. So I'll make a small correction for that, just to show you that it is easy to make that correction. All right, I thought you might enjoy this 3% solution you can do in less than a minute. Take care.